I ain't your boy, Stark. All right, that should do it. Won't be any Latvarian air support bothering us on our way to Castle Doom now. We'll take it on foot and bring in Bravo Team once we hit checkpoint three. On foot? You're kidding, right? Do you have any idea how little arch support I get in this outfit? Put a sock in it, webhead. Ow, socks make it worse, actually. All right, ladies, let's move, now! straight ahead, barring a few twists and turns. Move out! Black Widow should have left an intel drop for us nearby. Use your navigation system to locate it. They'll have to do better than that. Knock that barrier down! Finish with him yet. July 11th, 0800 hours. We've determined there's a massive power source operating within the city. Potent, but unstable. If you can take it out, you may find your hike to checkpoint four a lot less troublesome. You heard the lady. Let's find that power source. The electricity source is a church? Jeez, talk about the power of prayer. Let's check it out. <laughs> Your main mistake was starting the fight in the first place. Long way from home, aren't you boys? I figured I'd have to wait till I got back to the good old U.S. of A to try out the Tinkerer's new toys. But instead, I can give you a preview right now, free of charge. Good, the power's out. Should make the rest of our trip a little easier. Might even clear up our radio communications. Let's head out through that back door. Bravo team, come in. Come in. Bravo, do you copy? Huh. Nothing new to me so far. But Black Ops aren't really SOP for you boys, are they? How'd Fury get you? Same way he got you two, I expect. 
Everyone owes that old warhorse favors, and he always calls them in sooner or later. Could be much worse than Come this. Here. Yeah, but don't you guys wonder, uh, I mean, invading a foreign country? Like we're soldiers of fortune or something? I've known Nick Fury a very long time, Spider-Man. We wouldn't be doing this without a good reason. Oh, wringing your little hands over the poor Latverians, huh? You think they'd do the same for you? Colonel Fury, what do you have for us? Mr. President, one of our ongoing investigations into supervillains recently had a major break. We've always been aware that many of these criminals who run around in high-tech armor were getting their materials from an underground figure, Phineas Mason, a.k.a. the Tinkerer. But what we didn't realize until recently is that the Tinkerer himself is being supported by someone outside the country, specifically Lucia von Bardas, the elected Prime Minister of Latveria. As you know, the link to a foreign power makes this, by definition, international terrorism. The evidence is right here, sir. We're under attack. Trust me, they've earned what's coming to them. They must be jamming our signal from somewhere. We're gonna have to keep going at solo for now. Let's move. All right, after this elevator, it's almost a straight shot right to Von Bardis's front door. They know we're coming. Could get a bit hairier from here on out. Let's just say I got a message for their Prime Minister. Something you just can't say over the phone. Now you don't need any more detail than that. Let's quit the jibber-jabber and get this job done already. Ah, oh, now you're gonna hurt my feelings. Time to move out, ladies. Going up. Head left. This wall leads to the castle gates. More supervillain tourists, huh? Let's get them! Fear not, Scorcher. Let the wizard show you how to handle these medals. These doors are actuated to Wizard's Gauntlets, but he's out cold. Maybe we can power him up mangly with some repulsor fire. Lucia, we're home. Great. Here we go again. Hey, Fury, where's that Bravo team you've been trying to reach? Ah, communication still jammed. Someone's gonna have to go round them up. And you just volunteered. What? And leave all the fun to you girls? Bite me, Fury. No time to argue, Shorty. Take webs with you. Locate Bravo team and find another way into that castle. You heard the man, Webhead. Let's move. Yeah, yeah. Sheesh. Respect. shield projector so we can get in. Good work, Bravo. That'll get us in. 
Bravo, we've got local voice communications working, but long range is still jammed. We need Black Widow on the radio. Head to the security control room and get those jammers offline. They're bringing out the heavy hitter. Be careful up there. to move on the throne room. Can you support Bravo? They've got a job to do. Roger that. Bravo, take that elevator down. I'll monitor you remotely. I ain't here to fight you, Von Bartis. I'm here to make an example of you. This place is going down, along with your little operation. Should help deter anyone thinking along the same lines. So much for your president's friendly words to me. Or does he even know you're here? You've got a simple choice, toots. Either come with us quietly, or die when we turn this place into a big pile of Latvarian bricks. You'll pay for this, Nicholas Fury. I promise you that. Take them! Fury will handle Bombardas. Head to the reactor room. It's time to bring this castle down. Where do you think you're headed? Stay out of my workshop! Uh, I wasn't quite ready for combat testing, but you forced my hand. Now 
things have been pretty quiet around here lately. I suppose we should have known it was too good to last. Miss Marble has been investigating an international gun running ring in the city. A lead identified this Roosevelt Island construction site as a front for their operations. And last night she reported discovering unexpected tunnels running beneath it. This morning she failed to check in. Carol can definitely take care of herself, but we'll need to follow up on this just in case. Let's start by investigating those tunnels. How much more of this you think you can take, hero? Now don't keep telling me you came in here alone. Where are the others, huh? Right behind you. Oh, come on. You really think... Oh. Did you honestly not see that coming? Prepare to face me. As you can probably tell, this op is a lot bigger than we thought. We need to figure out what these Latvarians are up to. Of course, I've done some recon already. There's an old factory above these tunnels. If we destroy the weapons they've stockpiled there, it's bound to slow down their operation. That should lead up to the factory. You go on ahead. I'm gonna finish exploring these tunnels to look for additional intel. If you need me help, I'll be ready. Shocker later. Trash the Latvarian weapons first. I will hold them off. That won't be necessary, my dear. Take your post. If our friends here wish to join us on our little cruise, so much the better. If only Nick Fury were with you to witness this firsthand. But he will see it soon enough. The whole world will. Now, we destroy your home the same way you destroyed mine. One year ago today. Now I am a bomb. Nothing more, nothing less. A bomb that will kill millions. And you just lit the fuse. Uh, uh, oh no! This is it!
Manhattan continues to reel after tonight's devastating terror attack. Inside sources are indicating that the terrorists may have been from Latveria. Furthermore, they claim last night's attack was in direct retaliation for a secret, unsanctioned shield assault on Castle Doom exactly one year ago. Shield director Nicholas Fury, now wanted for questioning in connection with these claims, has disappeared. In his absence, Commander Maria Hill has been named acting director of S.H.I.E.L.D. Superheroes potentially linked to the Latvarian mission have refused to comment, leaving the rest of us to wonder why this horrible tragedy had to happen. You hear what they're saying about that mission in Latveria? Color me shocked, Steve. I have suspected we weren't sanctioned. You have suspected? Nice of you to say so at the time. Given a choice between Fury and the government, who are you gonna trust? Hmm. Tough call. That's why I didn't even ask you to make it. So, thanks to you, all this is on our hands. No, not on yours. The evidence is right here, sir. We're under attack. Colonel Fury, since Dr. Doom's death, Lucia von Bardas has bent over backwards to mend the ties between America and Latveria. We got her elected. This year alone, we lent her country $72 million in aid. Yes, sir. And it hurts to imagine what she's done with that money, knowing what we now know. Thank you, Colonel. I have a recommended response scenario for the city. That won't be necessary. Sir, if I may, this situation is sure to escalate. I can... We have a pleasant relationship with Lucia. We'll handle things diplomatically. I kept you in the dark so that if something like this ever happened, your consciences would be clear. It's on me, and I'm taking the fall for this one. You got that right. Damn it, Stark. You think these things grow on trees? I'm sure you've got plenty of backups, old man. You always do. Enjoy your exile, Fury. Wherever you are. You'll just stay here and keep picking up the pieces. What a mess this is turning out to be. When you're ready, we can plan our next move at the briefing station. Due to increased security measures, no one will be admitted into the building without their valid ID badge. No exceptions. How are you? Yeah, sue me for having a lapse of patriotism. Fury convinced me that op was important for our security. I still think it's probably true. Good to hear. Seems like everyone else wants to play Monday morning quarterback. See you. Our worst fears seem to be coming to pass. Congress is debating a new bill, the Superhuman Registration Act. It would require all heroes to register with the government whether they want to or not. Which would mean the politicians get to tell us who the bad guys are. We need to make sure this thing doesn't happen. To that end, we're heading down to Washington. I've been offered a chance to testify before a congressional subcommittee. And I'm going to rally the people down there. We need to get a grassroots resistance movement going before the SRA can gain any momentum. We want you to come along in case there's any trouble. We've got a Quinjet waiting to fly us down there. Let's go. We're coming up on DC, team, but the situation has radically changed during our flight, and not for the better. The city just came under attack by an unknown terrorist force. We're going to coordinate defense efforts with S.H.I.E.L.D. Buckle up, and be ready for anything. 
This is S.H.I.E.L.D. Lieutenant Farrell. We've got some of the Senators prepped for evac, but the zone's too hot to lift off. Eliminate the enemy forces in the area so we can get those people out. And you, dumb as nail shield clones. I saw what you did to those cherry blossoms back there. You think those things grow on trees? And you, you think it makes me less of a man if I came here for the cherry blossom festival, huh? You're laughing with your eyes. I can see it. Fine. Time for a little boss battle, suckers! I need no bodyguards to handle you. Press the attack! Ouch. I knew I should have sprung for the health meter enlargement I saw in that email. You're probably trying to clear out these terrorists, huh? Can I join the party? I'll join on any basis you want, as long as I get the keys to the Stark Tower Executive Washroom. All clear, Commander. I'll take things from here. Titanium Man seems to be behind all this. He just made off with some senators and took them underground. We'll cover the capital. You get down to the subway and pursue that tin-plated Russian and his pals. I'll keep you in mind. Now go! Come on! that away! The subway! Ah, Americans. Your precious representative is safe. For now. Do you have the courage to save him? Let us see. National Park Game Garage. We will bury you. You are trying to escape with our elected representative. Get your own, buddy. Thank your friend and Carl Peters back. I got no use for them now. Follow me, heroes, if you dare!
Senator Leva from New York State. Good to meet you. You've done us a great service. You heroes are okay in my book. Maybe we should put this registration business on hold. What can I say? I've always been a friend to superheroes. Well, best of luck trying to catch that maniac. Like our state motto says, Excelsior. Don't I know you from somewhere? You don't look like the voting type. Yeah, whatever. Hey guys, I'll take these pencil pushers back to the Capitol. Give me a call if you want to hang out again. Americans, your deaths await you. Here you are once again, a nation divided. Only this time you will fall. This is done? No one will ever trust you heroes again. And so, to answer your question, Mr. Senator, in spite of these recent events, I don't believe forcing superheroes to register with the government is the answer. This law would split the hero community right down the middle, with consequences I'm not sure any of us want to ponder. Was that really your best shot? Sneaking around doesn't become you, Steve. Maybe I'll need to practice. Maybe we all will. Don't be so melodramatic. This whole thing would affect you least of all. You're already deputized. You almost sound like you agree with them. This registration act would tear down everything we've done, destroy a century-old tradition of... I'm trying to save it, Steve. As much of it as I can, anyway. Don't you see where this is headed? All it's going to take is one more slip-up by anyone in a cape, and we'll be lucky if registration is the worst they do. They could just turn us all into criminals, hunt us all down. No, they won't, Tony. Not in my country. Now return to our special live episode of The New Warriors, coming to you straight from Stamford, Connecticut, where the Warriors have just been spotted by their supervillain quarry. Looks like it's on. I've got cold heart, you guys. Hey, somebody snagged Nitro. He's rabbiting. Don't worry, Speedball. I'm on him. On your feet, Nitro. And don't bother trying any of your stupid exploding tricks. Oh, baby, don't you even know? <laughs> You're playing with the big boys now. Reports now coming in from Stamford, Connecticut, indicate a massive explosion in a residential neighborhood. Just over 12 hours ago now, and preliminary casualties are said to be over 600. In Washington, rumblings on whether superhero reform should be brought to the Following table. Following last week's devastating explosion, Congress has rushed through passage of the Superhuman Registration Act, with the president expected to sign it. This is just completely insane, Hill. I won't do it! I'm sorry, was it not clear I was giving you an order? You're asking me to arrest people who risk their lives for this country every day. No, I'm ordering you to obey the will of the American people, Captain. Either you help us bring them in, or we'll bring you in. Weapons down, gentlemen. Or I... Trank darts, now! Take him down! Take him down! <laughs> Let's move. 
moving, son, if you want to stay conscious. You idiot. We were trying to save lives. Of all the people to go underground, Captain America. Now every superhero who disagrees with the act suddenly has a leader. Maybe we should hold off until... That won't be necessary, Mr. President. Registration can go forward as planned. We'll take care of Captain America. And with the passage of the Superhuman Registration Act earlier this week, superheroes around the country are being forced to choose a side. Do they register with the government to uphold the law or become part of an underground resistance movement? So far- Can you believe this is really going down? The act kicks in at midnight, but word is S.H.I.E.L.D.'s gonna be here sooner than that, taking signatures or prisoners. I wanna talk to Cage about it, but he's too busy arguing with Mr. Fantastic over there. Maybe you can break into their little powwow and get some sense out of them. Understand your skepticism, Luke, but you have to believe me. I've crunched the numbers, and we absolutely can't rebel against the government on this. If we do, the consequences... Can't be any worse than burning the Constitution. You're exaggerating. This is a temporary measure. Once things settle down... I ain't buying it, Reed. And I can't believe somebody as brainy as you would. Doc and oh, hello. Good timing. Perhaps you can talk some sense into Mr. Cage here. He and Iron Fist seem determined to get arrested. He's the one who needs a reality check. But good luck getting anywhere with that. Are you sure you can get us to Cap without leading them right to him? Got it covered. You just stick with me. But what about the rest? How can we convince... They're gonna have to make their own choice. Stark, Richards, and Songbird are obviously a lost cause. But maybe. Well, well. Speak of the devil. So you folks made up your minds yet? From what I hear, they ain't gonna give you much more time to sit on the fence. Later. Hey, you come to a decision yet? No one's got a better reason to be paranoid than I do. And I'm telling you, this is the way it's gotta go. Technically, that's true, but someone supervising their actions could have saved those innocents. You gonna keep on that all day? Later. And so, in a worst-case scenario, we'd find ourselves in the equivalent of a super-powered civil war. Heroes so busy fighting each other, the criminals get a free pass. Exactly. That's where you and the Thunderbolts would come in, Melissa. We need you to help S.H.I.E.L.D. keep crime under control while we focus on... Oh, hello again. I'm glad to see you're not going off half-cocked like Luke, Danny, and Eli over there seem to be. We need cooler heads to prevail at a time like this. Miriam Sharp, prominent parent of a young Stamford victim, today praised Congress's swift action on passing the Registration Act. There's morality and there's practicality. I may have personal issues with the act, but I also have hard evidence that if we rebel against it, the entire world's future will be imperiled. So, there's really only one sane choice here. We'd like to hear Perhaps, what you have to say about this. but I'd recommend you very carefully consider the consequences of your decision on this. My pleasure. All superhumans, the Registration Act is in effect. You are now required to meet with Commander Hill and register your identity with S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm glad to see you're willing to meet with me on civil terms. Once you register, I'm sure we'll have a productive relationship. The paperwork is right here. Step up and sign, please. The law is in effect. Your time is up. So, what's it gonna be, heroes? 
Just sign up here and you'll be bona fide law enforcement agents. You're not looking to start trouble, are you? One more stunt like that and there'll be hell to pay. You just made the biggest mistake of your life, hero. Don't worry, kid. He'll bounce back from this. Songbird will be fine, too. You made the right choice. I knew you would. Now let's get the hell out of here before we got more of these lackeys to deal with. Welcome to the Resistance. It's good to see there's still heroes like us willing to stand up for what's right. It's also encouraging to see a significant number of S.H.I.E.L.D. agents defecting to our side. They call themselves the White Star, apparently in my honor. I can't tell you we're in for an easy time, though. Stark and S.H.I.E.L.D. have advanced technology and almost unlimited resources at their disposal. Yeah, but none of that matters. What we got is more important. Yes, we have the moral high ground. We know we're in the right. Our path to victory? Convince the public to repeal that law by remaining steadfast and by showing everyone what it really means to be a hero. We got a lot of operations in the works, so you can count on being asked to help out real soon. Meantime, feel free to explore our command bunker. This abandoned Hydra storage facility is no Stark Tower, I know, but it'll hold up if S.H.I.E.L.D. comes knocking. We won't win this thing hold up in here. Head over to the briefing station when you're ready for your first mission. Bad news. Our base in Jersey City has been discovered by S.H.I.E.L.D. Our people are under attack and need immediate support. Cable was in charge of setting up this operation, but we've lost contact with him. We need to recover weapons crucial to our movement and, more importantly, protect the data Cable had compiled regarding our allies and other prospective base locations. From what we can tell, the base defenses are already compromised. Get there ASAP and hit those invading shield forces from behind. Then get our people and our intel out of there. Team, this is Cable. Shield is planting explosives to destroy our combat drones. Take out their agents and disable the bombs. I'm dispatching Spider Woman to support you. They're approaching your position. Take them out. Get onto the boat! Shield's trying to destroy our equipment. We don't have much time. Ready for fire. Impressive. All of our gear is safe. Thanks. I think you'd better get to Cable, Captain. He needs your help defending that old Hydra base we repurposed. Of course, Cap. I'll stay here and hold off S.H.I.E.L.D. while you support the base. Your stunt in Stark Tower was cute, but this is just lunacy. You're facing down all of S.H.I.E.L.D. and taking on your own government. I respect your sense of morality, but it's misplaced. Regardless, I can't let you go any further. I don't want to fight you, but you're giving me no choice. Did you honestly think we'd be unable to call in reinforcements, Natasha? 
Your biggest weakness is your overconfidence. I could easily say the same thing to you, Jessica. You can't win this war. Time will tell. I've disabled Black Widow's security override. Get inside, now! We're mounting a defense just ahead of your position. Move in and hit shield from behind. You will not be getting back up. up. Acknowledge, Hutchins. We'll be on the lookout. Meanwhile, hold that line. Terrace online. That'll put a few dents in those bots. Waystar forces, this is Spider Woman. Our position is being overrun by shield reinforcements. Watch your back. <laughs> Jessica! Damn! Get back to the central hub and stop shield! I'd ask if you're gonna come quietly, but you've already answered that one a few times tonight. time to explain why. Either back off or suffer the consequences. Thanks for the lift! Ha! Just make me strong! Appreciate the energy. Stay right there. enjoyed some victories in this conflict, but we knew we were going to be in for a tough fight. And it looks like Stark and S.H.I.E.L.D. are working overtime. They've been rounding up unregistered heroes and criminals like there ain't no tomorrow. In fact, we hit a running out of room to hold them all. Intelligence obtained by Cable now indicates that the Pro-Reg forces have almost completed construction of a massive new detention facility in the negative zone. 
It appears that the only way to access this new prison is via a network of tightly guarded portals. Obviously, it sounds like a very secure facility. Don't let that rattle you, though. More folks are joining our side every day, and there's no question we can win this thing. Agreed. However, keeping our people out of that prison will be one of our top priorities going forward. We just got word that a number of our captured friends are about to be transferred to the Negative Zone. They'll be sent there using a trans-dimensional portal, which we've discovered is located deep in the Rikers Island Penitentiary. But they must be transferred to Rikers first via convoy. Our best bet to keep our friends out of that prison is to never let them get there in the first place. So, we'll be hitting that convoy hard as it passes through Hell's Kitchen. Unfortunately, there's a complication. We have it on good authority that Stark and S.H.I.E.L.D. are bolstering their ranks with super-powered criminals. They're using some kind of nanite technology to control the behavior of these sociopaths. Don't those reckless fools have any regard for the risks they're taking? <sighs> the point is, we might run into these attack dogs during our rescue op. So watch your backs. The convoy route is heavily defended. You'll need to clear out the anti-air emplacements, so our chopper can get a clear shot at the trucks. Then you can bust out our friends and get them to safety. Liberty Squad, convoy is now approximately four clicks from your position. Looks like Shields doubled their guard on the anti-aircraft guns. We can't strike the convoy by air until you clear out those gun emplacements. Hit them fast, hit them hard. been less painful. I might be in charge of handling supervillains while the so-called heroes battle it out, but I bet I'll get a bonus for stopping you traitors. That attitude shows how out of touch you are. Registration's about heroes working together for the common good, not proving who's better. Enough talking. I've got other things.
Heads up. Looks like S.H.I.E.L.D. just brought in one of those mind-controlled criminals we heard about. Stay down, ugly! And get a manicure while you're at it. Jeez. Nice to see you fighting bad guys for a change. What was Little Miss Fake Nails up to? Uh, I heard something about that through the grapevine. Didn't believe they'd actually do it, though. But like I told Reed, I don't want any part of this war you got going on. But that'd be the same thing as... Shield Force is coming for you. I don't think they care if Ben gets caught in the crossfire either. Sheesh, here we go again. That's it. These shield guys are out of control. I almost hate to think of them winning with the stuff they're pulling. Based on what I just saw, I believe it. All right, I'm probably gonna live to regret this, but go ahead and count me in. Sorry to interrupt, but we've got trouble. Shield finally figured out we were intercepting their communications. Iron Man's on his way, approaching fast. I can make sure these folks get out okay if you can handle old Shellhead. Sounds like a plan. Liberty Squad, get back up to the rooftops. Keep Iron Man away from the convoy until our people are in the clear. You can keep up, can't you? Thanks for being such good sports and playing along. You must have realized that you are all far more valuable targets than anyone in that convoy. No, I'm a better businessman than that. Why would I negotiate when my side holds the most sizable assets? Speaking of which... Now don't play too rough with your new toys, Hank. Aw, oh, you never let me have any fun. things up a bit for our big and tall friend.
The increasingly desperate actions of the pro-reg leadership make it clear our resistance movement is working. It's just a matter of time before public opinion turns firmly in our favor and the Registration Act becomes history. However, it's not over yet. Stark and S.H.I.E.L.D. have already proven they'll stop at nothing to try to break us. We must remain ready to face them at any moment, while also doing whatever we can to protect the public during this chaotic time. I know it's been intense, but we can't afford to rest much around here. Take a breather, then when you're ready, head to the briefing station. We just received word of a major disaster at a chemical plant in New Jersey. Details are sketchy, but hundreds of workers may be trapped. We've got to get those innocents out of danger. Of course. But we're well aware this could be a trap set by our friends. That's why we'll be using Cloak to teleport us in. He can get us right back out if there's any trouble. Okay, let's rescue those workers. Besides being the right thing to do, it might make it even more obvious why being a hero shouldn't be against the law. How many trapped workers did the radio say? Over 300. But something's weird. I'm not getting anything over my info net. No panic signals, nothing. What's wrong, Cable? Cloak, get us out of here! It's a trap! Of course it's a trap. How else were we gonna get you all in one place? Skybird 1, is the area fully cordoned? Roger, perimeter sealed. No one's leaving the zone without our say-so. Copy that. Stand by. Stand by? <laughs> you and S.H.I.E.L.D. going soft, Tony? We didn't come here to arrest you, Cap. I talked S.H.I.E.L.D. into offering all of you a chance at amnesty. You mean surrender? Thanks, but uh, I think I'd rather take my chances. Cap, please. You know how hard I tried to fight this. But that was before Stamford. The public doesn't want secret identities anymore. Registration is the only way to make them feel safe when we're around. Just give me a chance to tell you our plans for my 21st century overhaul. You've got five minutes. That's all I'll need. What the hell? Liberty Squad, clear out that path so our people can escape. I've sent Colossus to assist you. Meet up with him while I draw shields and tend you. You are fools to ally with a madman like Bullseye, even if you do keep him on a nanite lead. Hey, he's serving his country. The more we can save from you. Massiva, my friends. Our allies are heading this way, but S.H.I.E.L.D. is watching our every move from the helicarrier. Dr. Foster has identified non-toxic chemical tanks that can be destroyed. This will create a smokescreen to block S.H.I.E.L.D.'s view. Once that is done, I will keep this path open for our escape. I expect the captain will join us in due time. Though he is perhaps relishing this counterattack a bit too much. Stop right there. As a fully registered and licensed hero, it is my duty to... Uh, what's the line? Ah, I can rehearse for that commercial later. I know how this scene will play out. I make this look good. But they've been cornered. Go. I can handle Stark. Last warning shot, Dagger. Step away from Cloak. Molten Man's next volley will put you in the burn unit. You people are out of your minds. 
I'm not leaving. You are. You idiots. Cap's completely lost it, gets handed a ridiculously generous offer, and punches us in the face for extending it. How far will you follow that zealot? Our only mistake was in thinking you people would listen to reason. Just don't ever say you didn't ask me. to revive Cloak. Colossus, you stay with her to help stand guard. The rest of you, get to that elevator. Cap could use some backup and fast. You should be able to sight Cap from there. Get to his position. I got this. You get to Cap. Keep them! Down War Machine, huh? You traitors won't have such an easy time with me. All your dirty tricks have done nothing but take us off. Need to give repair systems some time. Not gonna happen, Tony! your interference has gone on long enough. Could use some backup here! Just once, it would be nice if things went according to plan. Huh, Tony? Like you'd offer a common criminal? Who needs amnesty now? You still don't get it. Still won't accept where you're pushing things. 
Don't start with that again. Reed can crunch his numbers till the cows come home. It won't change right from wrong. Sometimes you have to do the wrong thing at the right time to save everything that matters. Nothing can justify what you're doing. Nothing on... What's that sound, Stark? Don't move a muscle or... Don't worry. Not gonna move. Damn it! Cable, we had Stark cornered, but he got away. Any read on his position? Negative, but we think Cloak might be recovered enough to... Fine. Get anyone who's seriously wounded to his location for evac. Everyone else stays. We're finishing this. I'll meet up with you in a bit. I'm not done with Stark yet. Cap, we can't risk you getting captured. Not discussing it, Cable. You've got your orders. What are you waiting for? Get to Cloak and make sure the wounded get out safely. I need your help. Something big's going down. Those villain Stark's been controlling have gone off the leash. They've set up a trap on the Cortex that could blow everyone here to Kingdom Come. I knew I could count on you. Come on. We need to head to the central facility of the plant. I'll stabilize the bombs and toss them to you. Then you dispose of them. Oh, and uh, keep those two busy, would you? Lead the way, Fury. But if you're screwing us over again, there'll be hell to pay. Look, they're up to something. We'll have to sort out the details later. Goblin's headed your way. I can get at the bombs now. Use that vent to get rid of the bombs. Heads up, grab that thing and get rid of it. Bomb's gonna blow! Throw it in! Toss that bomb into the central vent. It'll be safe enough. Well, well, well. Look who's back in the land of the living. You're in a secret shield base that only I know about. Hmm, well, I guess now you know about it, too. You guys did a good job of buying me time to defuse those bombs. I got most of them. But not all. Neither side's getting too specific. A 
But a good number of those heroes got pretty badly hurt in the explosions. Including yourselves. No one saw what those mind-controlled freaks were trying to do, or that we tried to stop them. So it was up to me to save you. While you healed up, I tried to warn Stark about what really happened. Oh, come on, Tony! I'm telling you! Those mind-controlled criminals of yours were completely out of control. They're the ones who rigged the explosions. I tried to... And I'm telling you, it's impossible. Our records show the villains were accounted for the entire time. Someone hijacked them. I saw it myself. I don't know what your angle is this time, old man. And frankly, I don't care. I've got a war to win. Either help me do that or get out of the way. Well, things didn't go much better with old wingtips, either. Sorry, Fury. You've got no evidence. And I need more than your word these days. Besides, if Stark's attack dogs really are turning on him and S.H.I.E.L.D., so much the better. Serve them right. They can deny it all they want, but something big is going down. Maybe even bigger than this civil war you're all having so much fun with. Someone out there is trying to take advantage of the situation. Maybe by now I could have figured out who if I hadn't been too busy playing nursemaid to you grunts. You owe me. And since you're all presumed dead by both sides, you're the perfect little group to check out of this war, at least for a bit, to help me figure this thing out. You with me? Remember, we're the only ones ready to figure out who's behind this. Meet me at the briefing station when you're ready for action. All right, listen up. Tinkerer here has been trying to figure out who might be pulling the strings of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s nanite criminals when no one's looking. Since I had some involvement in the original nanotechnology S.H.I.E.L.D. has converted for their use, I was optimistic that I could puzzle out the situation with the data already available. However, that has not proven to be the case. I have nothing more than conjecture at this point. In order to determine what's really happening, I will need to view the networking logs for S.H.I.E.L.D.'s nanite control grid. Unfortunately, their signal is highly encrypted. It could take years to break their code and directly access their servers. But we don't have time for that, obviously. The shorter and quicker routes to physically transmit that data directly from their servers, which we've discovered are located in Rikers Island Penitentiary. So that's where you're headed. Now don't worry. I know trying to bust into that place on your own would be near impossible, since it also contains the portal to Stark's negative zone prison. But we got information that Captain America and his forces are about to stage a prison break to release their buddies from the negative zone. They'll have to smash through Rikers to get there. We'll take advantage by having you piggyback on their incursion. While they're driving toward the portal, you follow in their wake and get that data sent to us. Then we can figure out who the hell's grabbing control of these psychos and why. Shields should have their hands full, but I'll patch you into their comm channel so you won't get any nasty surprises. Now get to the portal room and upload those network logs. Attention, Neil personnel. This that is coming. Commander Hill. Any secret who is not accompanied by Iron Man should be detained by any means necessary. Cap strike team's already crossed into the negative zone. That means you're the only target Hill's got left on this side. I thought we finished you off at the chemical plant. Not going to happen, traitors. Bring them down. Surrender would be your best option. Diplomacy would have been less painful. Iron Man has secured the negative zone portal. Fall back to the courtyard. Penance, stay here and guard the 
this door. No one gets through, understand? And keep an eye on these nanite control prisoners. Okay. The computer with the data we need is in that holding chamber, but the area is sealed. You'll have to get the access card from Hill. She's going for her chopper! Fine, take the key. Go help Captain America or whatever you think you need to do. But there's an army on the other side of that portal waiting to stop you. How convenient. Ain't she a sweetheart? Now go get that data. Anyone who's still standing, get to the portal! Rogue Super just stole my access. Cut them off! Don't worry, Hill. I'll stop on you. working monitor station to send their logs to us for analysis. We got the transmission and Tinker has done a quick analysis on the data. It doesn't look good. We were concerned that an unknown megalomaniac might be overriding SHIELD's nanite control signals with intentions unknown. However, the truth is much stranger and potentially much more troubling. There is no secret mastermind pulling the strings of these criminals. The network that links their minds has become large and complex enough to emerge as its own intelligence, a neural net whose intellect grows each time they inject another host with the nanites. The only reason this thing hasn't already spread like wildfires is because S.H.I.E.L.D. lets just a few of them out at a time. Correct. If the entire group were released from lockdown, they could escape Prison 42 and quickly spread across the Earth like a techno-plague. Everyone would eventually become part of its collective consciousness. We already saw they could override S.H.I.E.L.D. control. Wouldn't there be any way to stop them? To determine that... I would need a pure, untainted sample of the nanite material. One that hasn't yet been injected into a host. Okay, they must have some of that in their negative zone jailhouse. And we won't get a better chance to head in there and grab some of that stuff than right now, while the heroes are still beating the crap out of each other. I'm gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Sit tight till I arrive to help you out. Ugh. Teleporting makes my skin crawl. But you'll need my help, and I can't send a decoy into the negative zone. Signal won't cross over. I expect Cap and Iron Man will still be butting heads in there. Let's move while they're distracted. This is the best shot we're gonna get to break into that prison. We gotta take it. Otherwise, nobody will be sitting on an antidote that could save humanity from this thing. Huh. And I thought everyone was too busy fighting each other to watch out for innocents. Let me help. I can activate the portal for you. Thanks, Robbie. Go on through. I'll be ready to help you anytime.
It's a lot easier getting into this place than getting out. I'll head to the portal control room to make sure this gate's open for us when it's time to book. The nanite labs are a few levels below us. Head down there and grab us that pure sample. I'll meet you back here. Yeah, plenty. Let's stick to the plan, and you can help your friends later. I'll let you know when I reach the control room. From there, I should be able to help clear your way. Now get going. Good work, team. You should be clear to head back to the portal. No one's gonna stop you. They're all too busy partying it up in the cell blocks. We'll never reach the jail cells at this rate. Are those the conduits we saw on the schematics? Yeah, the only exposed power cables for both the main systems and the backups. Those get cut, and all the cells open up? Including S.H.I.E.L.D.'s remote control super criminals? You got it. But the release prisoners might give S.H.I.E.L.D. more than they can handle, at least for a few minutes. Could help cover our escape. your nanite injected slaves we had it under control until you busted in here and released them all gentlemen i suggest we focus on getting our people out of here alive damn it this is exactly what we were worried about the nanite agents are free and they're showing high mind behavior ah great looks like the power surge knocked out the portal we'll need it to get our people out of here Take that lamp to rendezvous with Cap and Iron Man. You explain the situation to them while I try to figure a way to jumpstart that portal. Where did you... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Look, we need your help. Something's gone wrong with S.H.I.E.L.D.'s nanite control system. So you just left us high and dry on Fury's say-so? There's a word for that. Steve, we don't have time to go over this. It's going to take teamwork to get everyone out in one piece. You're right. But this portal's offline. We're going to need to fight for the escape inmates to get power flowing to it again. It won't be easy. They've hijacked the wireless network we set up for them, and are somehow using it to make themselves nearly invulnerable. You have? Okay then, sounds like a plan. Get power flowing to this portal. Go to the top of the cell blocks to access the power conduits. Cap and I can hold this portal as a rally point. If you're able to rescue anyone along the way, send them back here. And I'm sorry about what I said before. You and Fury were fighting this threat while the rest of us were just fighting each other. I only hope it's not too late.
Sounds like those two have come to their senses. About time. Guess I'll switch us over to their radio frequency. Here, is that you? In the flesh, Dark. And that ain't a figure of speech. I hate to say it, man. You were right. We should have listened in. We're just lucky you and your team saw this coming, Nick. Firestar out. Send her our way. You'll have to get down to the lower level to restore power. There's a lift nearby. We need your help. If we clear this area, Fury can trigger the destruct sequence and follow us out. Fury behind you. Hmm. Closed off from the other side. What do you think it means? Did Fury detonate? Step to one side, Captain. You and your friends here are under arrest. For Pete's sake, Hill, these people need medical attention. He's right. Lower your weapons and call in the medics. No, Stark. I'm under direct orders from the President. The SRA dictates that these unregistered... We're giving everyone temporary amnesty on my authority. At least until we figure out what just happened. If you have a problem with that, Commander Hill, you're going to have to take it up with all of us. Get the medics down here. So many lives apparently lost. And yet lost so that many more lives might be saved. We may not know the true fate of Nicholas Fury, but we do know he showed his willingness to sacrifice himself on behalf of us all. For him, and for the rest of the missing and presumed deceased, we ask Almighty God to watch over their souls. Amen. I've got to hand it to Fury. I'm not sure we ever would have found this place if you hadn't led us here. Repeat, is red. 
you're right, but I'm not ready to buy that Fury and the others are dead. Not yet. We found no bodies, detected no explosion. How can we be sure what really happened? Tony and I have already been over this a dozen times. We can't be sure, not without a working portal to the negative zone, and that will take us weeks to bring online. Great. So in the meantime, it just goes down as a mist. Yes, but we do have some evidence of Fury's success. I've been monitoring, and there's still no sign of the Nanite Collective signals here on Earth. It's a shame the Tinkerer seems to have escaped. I was hoping his research would corroborate my own. Still, I believe I can use this scanner to confirm that the Nanites haven't... Oh, no. What is it? Nanite control signals. Hundreds. Maybe thousands of them. Fury failed? We all failed. We lost our way. And now the world pays the price. We're facing what looks like a full-scale invasion. Let's meet at the briefing station ASAP. In the span of just a few hours, the world has gone insane. The Nanite Collective's agents are swarming all over the globe, infecting key victims in an apparent bid to eliminate all serious resistance to their expansion. Their movements seem methodical and well-coordinated. They must have used Prison 42's portal system to move this fast. Worse, time is on their side. If we can't stamp this out quickly, it will grow to encompass all of humanity. In the face of this new threat, the Registration Act has been temporarily suspended to allow us to work together. We're deploying teams around the world, but the most explosive situation right now is in the African nation of Wakanda, which has reported a massive incursion into their capital city. Ruled by our friend T'Challa, also known as the Black Panther, Wakanda is a highly advanced country blessed with the world's only deposits of vibranium. Your knowledge of the Nanite Collective makes you the best team to send into this combat zone. Do whatever it takes to help Black Panther defeat these invaders and regain control of his country. Thank goodness you're here, my friend. No time for pleasantries, though. The enemy have our city surrounded and are firing on us with siege cannons. Please take off those guns. We can't hold out against them much longer. Thank you, heroes. Your help is most welcome. The nanites are spreading. The escaped inmates have infected hordes of mercenaries, and now they have come for us. We must stop their assault before they take the city. The cannons are our primary target. I shall. It will be an honor to fight alongside you. Come. They have more artillery ahead. I will open the security fields for you. Watch it. He looks like havoc, but he smells like the enemy. Be careful, my friend. That is not from that. needs your help. I will secure Havoc, then follow you to the city. Go! It appears we are safe, thanks to you. But it seems things are going badly back in New York. I will patch you in. Priority one distress call from Stark Tower to all friendly forces. We are under attack. Invading forces comprised of nanite-controlled criminals as well as infected superheroes, including... Oh! She Look out! I just did it! Ah! Fall back! She Hulk! Stark Tower, respond! Please join me inside. I will continue trying to contact our allies. Panther calling Stark Tower. She Hulk, do you read? 
Fury? The one and only. You survived? But where have you been? There and back, Steve. And now, better than ever. You're part of them now, aren't you? Ah, don't miss a trick, huh, Cap? Yeah, I've been welcomed into the fold. The fold? Ah, don't get hung up on the name. Whatever you call it, it's the best thing that could ever happen to this world. Oh, really? How do you figure? How many wars you and I have been through? Ain't you ever wondered if there's an end to it? To this war? I... To all war, Steve. This is the last one. Right. Once you've taken everything over. Pretty sure I've heard that one before. From an old German acquaintance of ours. It ain't about taking over. It's about everyone agreeing. Everyone coming into the fold. Sharing what's left of this godforsaken planet. Not fighting over every stupid thing. How can you be against that? Sounds great. But at the price of the most basic freedom of all, freedom of thought, I can't think of anything more horrific. You don't get it. Well, guess I should have expected that. But you'll get this. We'll stop the attack on Stark Tower right now, if you and your party will join us. You aren't Nick Fury. I don't know what you are, but we aren't making any bargains with you. All right. We gave you the chance. Remember that. No! My own people take us! This has gone too far! Thank you. Without your aid, I shudder to think what would have become of my homeland. Now, what should we do with these two? The fall of Stark Tower was just the beginning. Over the past few weeks, the Fold has aggressively ramped up its campaign to take over all of humanity. Many of our closest friends and allies remain unaccounted for. We have to assume they've been taken into the Fold. It's no coincidence either. The Fold's primary targets are clearly superhumans. And thanks to the acquisition of Fury and his decades of intel, they've been able to make serious inroads in expanding the Collective's power base. Fortunately, Fury's knowledge of Wakanda isn't comprehensive, which is why we've been using Black Panther's palace as our temporary base of operations. Fold forces were unable to retrieve Venom and Green Goblin after you defeated them. Using the pure nanite samples your team obtained from Prison 42, we've been able to cure these two criminals of their infection. Venom and Goblin both claim a strong desire to help us stop the Fold. They're not the most trustworthy of allies, but frankly, we can't afford to turn them away. With the Fold growing exponentially, infecting entire populations at a time, it's becoming obvious we can't win a war of attrition against them. Their network seems to be the key. If we could only find a way to disrupt it. Unfortunately, they've clearly been taking steps to make that all but impossible. Our best minds are working hard to devise a strategy to defeat the Fold before it becomes unstoppable. We'll let you know if and when we come up with anything solid. My home is yours, friends. Everything here is at your disposal. Let us meet at the briefing station when you are ready to act. Analysis of Fold technology retrieved after the liberation of Wakanda has revealed details about the Collective and how it's spreading. We are now aware of massive repeater towers being erected at secret locations around the globe at an astonishing rate. These heavily defended towers are clearly being built to extend the reach of their network. Like the internet, their grid is adaptive and seems highly resistant to being completely shut down. So trying to destroy the towers would be an inefficient use of our time and resources. However, we might still have an ace in the hole. 
Our nanite stasis signal should still function, if we could only broadcast it on their network. Their encryption makes that impossible to do from the outside. But if we were able to take control of one of their repeater towers and send the signal from there, it just might work. We've identified only one tower that is central enough to reach the entire fold before they could react. If we were able to infiltrate this enemy base and send the shutdown signal, all members of the fold would be paralyzed, allowing us to round them up and cure them of the nanite infection. It sounds simple, but won't be easy. Iceland was one of the first countries to be completely overtaken by the Collective. However, this may be our only shot at defeating the Fold. If we fail here, we'll have revealed our only trump card. And they won't give us another chance once they figure out what we're up to. We'll get as close to the tower as we can without attracting their attention. From there, we'll have to fight through their defenses, make our way into the base, and send out that signal. That's as close as we can get you. You must find your way inside, so you can send out the stasis signal. I forgot. Hurry! Get him out of here! Your precious ideals won't help you here, Captain. You should have accepted Fury's offer. We'd rather die than lose everything that makes us human, Tinkerer. Fortunately, neither of those things is about to happen. We know what you're plotting. It won't work. You could have selected the painless option. Instead, you chose this.
The entire collective is down. Great work. We'll need to mobilize S.H.I.E.L.D. to begin rounding up and curing the nanite-infected population. Until then... What the...? Something's channeling strange energy signatures back into the network. Converging in your vicinity. Can you investigate? I see. Cute trick. But did you really think we wouldn't see it coming? It's over, Fury. You're alone. You can't possibly... Oh, I'm not alone. You may have frozen the fold, but you haven't eliminated it. And with these new nanites, I can draw on the entire Collective's power. I won't need more than a fraction of it to kill you. Then I'll shut down that annoying signal of yours for good. In another minute, it will all be so clear. Stretch. I can make it. <sighs> Smart guy. But I'll take a shield nurse over him any day. So, how are you feeling? <laughs> How's it look like I'm feeling? Could be a lot worse, all things considered. Everyone else who was infected is pretty much recovered, but the stuff that Tinkerer put in you was ten times... Yeah, I know! <sighs> but believe me, I know. Listen, guys, uh, <clears throat> about all this, I... Uh, well, I, I, j I just wanted to... Uh... You can stop there, Nick. There's plenty of blame to go around, on all sides, and plenty of cleaning up yet to do. Yeah, there is that. I know you'll put it right. Get things back to where they used to be. I'm not sure things will ever be quite the same as they used to be. No, but that doesn't mean they can't be good again. And so, with the global battle against the Fold now won, thanks in large part to the combined efforts of the world's superheroes, Congress this week voted to overturn the Superhuman Registration Act. Additionally, all members of the anti-registration movement have been granted full amnesty by the President. Does this mean the country's superheroes can get back to doing what they do best?
Former anti-reg movement leader Captain America, speaking earlier today at a Lincoln Memorial rally, said he hoped so. During this conflict, nearly all of us got distracted from a hero's main responsibility, to help those who need it most. Now, thanks to the actions of a small but steadfast team, we've been given another chance. We must not squander it, and we won't. We saw what could happen if all individuality were lost. But we were also reminded that there are some things we can only accomplish when we're united. Now, our alliance stands reforged, ready to meet whatever challenge might be next together.